Manny, um, we've just been talking about you. you. Seem to be a big smile on your face. You're loving <laughs> life at the moment. Yeah, um, I can't complain. You know, uh, I, you know, enjoying the transition here. Um, I enjoy living in Stoke as well, you know, so and I'm happy that the team are doing well as well. Um, won a big game on Saturday, which is important for all of us and, you know, the morale's high, everyone's happy and we're just hoping that we can continue that for us and for the fans. It takes a bit of time, doesn't it, to, to settle into a new club and you've had to move and as you say, you're now settled in Stoke and the season start, then you got a bit of an injury and then you're back in the team. So it's been a bit stop-start for you. Yeah, really stop-start for me. Um, I think that's been one of the major things that I've been quite annoyed about so far this season that I've had uh, a few injuries and didn't have a full pre-season came back got injured again during the season so I'm hoping now that that's the end of my injury um, problems and that I can you know just try to hit the ground running and play as many games as I can Your form's been good what are you putting that down to at the moment? Um, I don't know you know it's just um, I aim to play you know at my level the level that I expect of myself you know every week i demand a lot from myself and you know the gaffer demands a lot from us as well so um, I don't put it down to anything in particular it's just how I um, it's how I want to play but I'm also looking to improve every single week as well so I don't want to you know just rest on uh, past performances I want to continue to improve. But there is a lot of competition in that midfield area so I guess that's something that's a motivation for you because you know you've got the shirt at the moment but with players behind you one bad game you could be out of the team. Yeah, true. Um, I think for me personally, that's not really a motivating factor for me. I think, you know, I'm quite driven myself personally. You know, I, I believe in my head that, you know, like I just need to play as well as I can, regardless of who's in front, behind. If I'm on the bench or not, I still can only control how I play, um, whether that's for 90 minutes or 15 minutes. So that's how my mindset is. Um, but as you said, you know, I've got a lot of uh, competition in the midfield. A lot of good players. He played a lot of games in football league as well. So uh, I think it can only do good for the team as well to know that as well that we've got players coming on that are you know of the same calibre um, as the players that are starting as well. So it does help the team out and hopefully that that strength and depth will um, serve us well in the future. I think when uh, in the press box at the weekend, I heard a lot of people saying, "Oh, the, the, that number eight, he's, he's a good player for the, for the Vale." I mean, when you hear things like that around and you know that you, you're playing well. That must give you a lot of confidence. Um, well, I didn't hear it. You just told me so. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, telling yeah. you. Yeah. Um, yes, I know. You know. You know. Um, you just want to play as well as you can every week. And if you have a bad game next week, you know everything else is forgotten. So you don't want to get too excited off. You know, people commenting and saying you're playing well. You, you want to enjoy it, but at the same time, you only enjoy it if you're winning. So I think that's the major thing. If we lost on the weekend, but I played well, I still wouldn't have enjoyed it. So I'm just happy that we've got. Um, how many we've won, got seven points out of nine um, in the last three games. So we just want to kind of improve on that, make this place a fortress as well. And then I think, yeah, then I'll be really happy. That's it, a couple of home games now for you. So home comfort, the home fans behind you, and as you say, now capitalising on those recent good performances. Yeah, definitely. Um, we feel like the fans are really enjoying um, how we're playing and they're right behind us, you know, every game. And it's a thing where we want to repay that, uh, that faith as well. Um, with good performances and wins as well. So um, I think it's a good thing that we've got two home games, you know, back-to-back, uh, -back, and then we can obviously focus on the away game next week. But, um, yeah, I think that any successful team makes their uh, home home form has to be good. So that's something that, you know, we have had. We, I know we obviously we lost one here, but I think that generally we've played well at home. So it's something that we want to continue to do. Big challenge extra as well. They're, they're, they're flying at the moment. Yeah, um, but... Just like the gaffer says, and we know that any given week, anyone could be anyone in this league, and we're not afraid of uh, anybody of how their form is. You know, regardless, still, you know, eleven v eleven. You know, it's the same thing that we do every day. So it's no different, regardless of if they're playing well or not playing well. So it's just uh, a thing where we can only control how we play, and we're confident, we're flying as well. I would say, so um, it should be a good game. Well, for you. Set the benchmark. You got the result from the weekend at Crew, which obviously is that first away win as well. But if you can get a good result against Exeter here, will it give you as a squad a, an idea of maybe what you're capable of this season? Um, yes and no. You know, I think it's a good test. Like you said, the Exeter are a good team, and they're always um, in and around the top 
every single season, you know. They were in the playoffs last year, so we do have to have a, a level of respect for them and they always play good football. But at the same time, I think that we know internally how good we are, especially when we will play uh, as a team and individually we play well. So I don't think it's too much of a um, a test or a marker for us to if we, if we beat them on Saturday. I think that we know how good we are on our day. And we know that, you know, we've got Popey, Ricky up front, we've got strong midfield, back four, have been brilliant recently as well. So it's like we, we know what we what we are capable of regardless of who we're coming up against. And we're confident, yeah. When fans see performances like they have been recently, their expect expectation levels can, can go up quite high. Do you mind that, having that pressure from supporters? No, I think... Um, Obviously, I wasn't here last year, but I'm sure if you ask anyone, they'd rather have pressure of high expectations than you know pressure of um, maybe you know getting relegated or pressure of losing every week or pressure of you know fans being on their back. I'm sure that we're a lot happier with having pressure of you know we want to perform well, we want the fans to be happy, we want to be um, up and around you know where Portville should be. You know, we weren't in, in League One a few years ago, so. Um, got a massive stadium, great fan base. So um, I think the club, you know, we deserve to put in the performances and be in and around the big clubs in League Two. We're not a small club at all. And I think um, us as the players, we know that. So um, yeah, we're definitely, it's not something that we, we're scared of to have high expectations or anything like that. Like I said, we know internally how good we are and how good we can be um, as a team. You know, teammates I've got, they're, they're all great, amazing. Technically, work hard. And like when we play for one another, we can do anything. So, um, yeah, so to answer your question, I think that it's, it's OK. We don't mind having the high expectation. We're happy with that. You talked about the squad and they have got that hunger for yeah. success. Are you starting to see the belief now in the, in the squad? Because it is, a lot of players have come in, including yourself, mm -hmm. over the summer. But now we're into the season and you've started to find a little bit of form. Do you see the belief around everybody that actually, you know, come on, we can, everyone pull together, we can do something here? Yeah, I think um, people forget how many new players came in, you know, and it's always quite tough to um, hit the ground running, you know, when you've got um, a lot of new teammates. You have to figure out how um, your teammates play, figure out their strengths, their weaknesses, and at the same time, they're figuring the same thing about you as well. So I think that um, we've been together quite a while now, a few months, and we, we kind of know each, each other's strengths, weaknesses, what we need to do to help each other, and I think that's been a big reason in the upturn in form for us and I think that um, that's going to stand us in good stead so uh, yeah I just think that that's one of the things that people have been forgetting there's been a lot of additions you know and moving as well like me I've moved up from London there's a lot of transition so I think that everyone's kind of settled in now um, now we can really start kicking on. Pretty much the whole midfield that started at the weekend bar Luke and they're all new and um, mm. for you Playing with that Tom Conlon for a yeah. second successive game, there's potential for more from you two, is there? Yeah, um, like I said, for me personally, you know, I, I always aiming to improve, and I know Tom's no different. Tom's a very good player. He's got <laughs> great on the ball, technically great left foot. You know, um, he's had a few injury problems as well, so for him to come back and play as well as he's done, as well as he's done, shows me and shows the team that you know he's driven as well that he's willing to come back from injury and play at such a high level that, as he did. So, yeah, like you said, me, Tom, uh, Wits has just come in as well, Luke, like, they all work hard. And like, like you said, we've got a lot of competition there. So, you know, if we've got the shirt, you know that we're doing something right, we're working hard. And I think, yeah, like even training today, it was high quality, high tempo. It's only going to drive everyone to be better. And I think that's a good thing. And yeah, I think that, um, we're all going to improve uh, collectively and hopefully we can yeah, get, get more points and get more results.